what is up you guys I am back and so I got every, every video today and I was not wrong there will be a video today just to be late just, I just woke up I just woke up I don't want to erase this this is like I tried to record it like days ago or months ago actually but my console didn't record my audio and it had my it was all fucked it was all fucked so I just moved in the water to finish recording it didn't bother to so yeah, we're always gonna go on with new new start. <laughs> I sound like shit because I just woke up like last five minutes ago. So bit to that stuff. Uh, I get into a uh, me. So surreal. They called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. So I don't understand why Weird. you're standing. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as torque. If anybody else looked at this, what'd they think? That's your normal. Right? And frankly, it's bullshit. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of I you. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So she could have taken her. Shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, no, can you please okay. tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Um, 
your ass. I don't. I, didn't, I did I know, know, but but I mm. kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook. Or even... Sorry, Max. No more selfies. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. I'm not seeing you, so fuck off. Maybe I can just, like, get out of here. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing app. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Unless you like push up every day. So you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so Man, he even has the best plasma HTTV for a class. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? Do I have to? I just no. don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, oh, but life won't wait 30. for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jeff. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. She probably is. Just saying. She probably is. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You Welcome right. to the real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. I'm not paying $150. Because Max wants everybody to see how she looks. She plays it so shy. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. That was about me. What the fuck? That was about me. I don't know if it's copyright or not. I might have to actually sell. Oh shit. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, go, go. Faster. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Are they all are we doing shit all of them? To all of you. I hate bully jock straps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. American girls I'd like to Rachel Amber. She's so pretty. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Driving a car by the seaside. Watching the world from the bright side. Yeah. Oh, please hurry. Please hurry. Please hurry. Please hurry. I fear I'm gonna have to actually get this. Empty, later. good. Mm. Nobody so can see my meltdown. Mm. Except for me. Let's see where we go from there. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Help 
don't mind my fuck it. Do you guys talk to you? It does, but if it doesn't, I'm gonna go back, go back to my Astro. It doesn't sound good to you guys. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. Bro, you have some so what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell Whoa. everybody Nathan Shut Prescott up. is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. You were. Yes, you were. He shot that poor girl. Yes, yes, he did. I held up my hand. Yes, yes, you did. And then I was back here. Yes, that's actually was. These pieces of time. Gonna gonna say I gonna already say heard me. this lecture. Yes, yes, you did. From light to shadow. From color. Now to Kate is being hassled again. Yes, yes, she is. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. Yes, it is. Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Yes, you are crazy. Can I actually reverse time? Yes, you can. Why harvest? I did it. Can you I actually did it. Of a photographer who perfectly I'm a captured human the human time machine. Black and white. No, no, you aren't. Anybody? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Yes, yes, he does. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Yes, it is real. Selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I can tell. Your generation so I can go back in time. Yes, yes, Selfie you can. We've expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Now, uh, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the... The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody 
has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. No, I see you at all, bitch. I don't see you at all. Max, you are not crazy. You yes, are you not are. dreaming. Yeah, yeah, you it's are. time to be an everyday hero. No, you aren't. Yes, Victoria, you still have you to sneaky, do your sneaky, 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 sneaky. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Fuck. I tried. I'd never let one of photography's. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Fuck Excuse you. us. I'd never Quit let one of photography's her. future star. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wow, sir, it's so happening crazy. again. I need a hammer to break it open! We're going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Wait for this, than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from Max, me, Max, you're going to get hurt. Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. Damn it. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Worse than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? <laughs> No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? I don't know you tell me. Do not me freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse me? Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. Yeah, There's no emergency here. here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Damn. Shots fired. <laughs> Sounds a bit sexist and shit, man. What the fuck's wrong with you? Chill out. Like, chill the fuck out. Jesus Christ. 
You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. Well, you don't. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think I your parents will approve shit. when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. I haven't done shit. I just see someone's ass. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. You look a little stressed out. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns... Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? How can you like, not, not see what you're hearing? Like, you look a little stressed out. I just got sick. Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. Oh. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, 
Will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Uh, I'm sorry. Miss Grant, I totally respect your passion and knowledge, but some security cameras make me feel a little safer. I'm not against security, Max. We should all be concerned when private space becomes public. Your generation has been tricked to think everything should be recorded. Yeah, I know it will. What's the good one? So I don't remember if I could add it. I can't remember if I was good. Hey, Hayden. There she is! The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. I don't think so. I'm not... Miss Party. That's because you haven't partied with us. Or even Victoria, who's pretty funny when she's baked. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like... you know. So, you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. I do. She respected bitch. Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right, and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. What am I, what, what am I stuck on? Okay, there we go. Okay, that's a second one. I better read Warren's text before he blow. Okay. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Hi. How are you? Hi. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Okay. Oh, yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh... Jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, should walk on. Yes, Yo, Justin. Check out the... I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. <laughs> nah. I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Check it. Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, ow. Ooh. Ooh. 
beautiful, 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 beautiful. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Sure, fuck it. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Everyone fucking so like her. what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. I mean... You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute, Muse. <laughs> yeah, it's still a fucking step down from her. It's a real person. Oh, that's a good posture. Good, good. Do it. <laughs> Best portrait ever. Yeah, that's fine. It's okay. It's average. <laughs> How would that have a consequence? It's a fucking picture. Dick. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images. But you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm the here. Fuck? You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. You kiss my ass. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. You can kiss my right butt cheek. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Well, fuck you too. Fuck you. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Okay, then. I have very well fuck with you from now. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria yeah. at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. 
Now if you'll excuse me. Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. You look busy, Samuel. Oh, I'm always up to something. Today it's sweeping, then painting windows. Nice, Just don't bro. paint over the posters for Rachel Amber. You can't color over that sunlight. Bro, you, you found, you, no. Sketchy you as knew hell. Rachel? Sketchy How as How can hell. you know a prism? You just stare in awe. Now I have Bro, to go paint that's windows. Sketchy as fuck. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks Sweet. forward. Like a clock. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, Sweet. I paint. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. Quit for the Daguerrean process, sir. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> well done, masses. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Just kick your oh, wait. Her face, Hold son. that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Can I just, like, kick your face in? Is that, like, illegal? Yeah. Just, like, one good to the fucking head with my fucking foot? Bags heavy as shit. Smack them on, help the bag. I don't. I don't. Fuck you. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Think, Max. Rewind and find something. Hey, I'm locked in here now. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish.
Okay, let's see if this works. Nice, bro. Sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Poor, Sam poor Samuel. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Hi. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Petty, I look Take the higher road. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. Take the higher road. It was. But there will be yeah. another. Well, Take you always road. seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon esque. He's oh, one of my heroes. Better person. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck yourselfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Sorry. I really have to find out what happens. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna end it right here, guys. It's been uh, almost an hour, not quite there. But I'm gonna end it right here. I will see you guys tomorrow with Evil Within. Tomorrow is Tuesday, right? Tomorrow's Tuesday, right? It's Tuesday. Making sure. Okay. So I'm, I'm sleep, sleeping like really weirdly and terribly. So my, my dates are like off balance and terrible all together. But yeah. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Same time probably. 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. And yeah. I'm going to try to take videos again and try to make videos again. I'm going to try. No promises though. No promises. Adios.